So you're interested about learning about Tordal, also known as Katorlak. I hope this helps. So first things first, Tordal is a NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Same thing as aspirin, ibuprofen, Motrin, all that kind of stuff, except this thing is a lot more potent. Okay, so this is kind of like a aspirin on steroids. Uh, I guess no pun intended. So when is this thing indicated? It's indicated to reduce pain and inflammation. Basically, this is a potent analgesic with no sedative effects and it basically inhibits prostaglandin synthesis, which is just a fancy term of reducing inflammation. So the dose is gonna be 30 to 60 milligrams. Now understand that the IV dose is always gonna be lower than the IM dose. So typically your IV dose is gonna be 15 milligrams to 30 milligrams, and your IM dose is gonna be 30 milligrams to 60 milligrams. Now this medication is not intended for pediatric use. So some contraindications for Toradol includes allergies to NSAIDs, ulcers, GI bleeding, history of asthma, and even renal disease or kidney failure. Now the onset of this medication is actually 10 minutes, but the peak doesn't occur until about one to two hours after use. So if you think that you're gonna be seeing like some big effects here in pre-hospital setting, you're not, okay? Um, this is something that's going to last in the body and it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to actually work. Now some adverse reactions or side effects to the medication can cause drowsiness, headaches, dizziness, shortness of breath with bronchospasms, GI bleeding, and diarrhea and nausea. Now some special considerations with this medication. This medication is not, like I said, it's not intended for pediatric use. It's also not intended for any females who are pregnant. Also, be very mindful of your patient's age. Look at your protocols because a lot of protocols say if the patient is greater than 65 years of age, uh, you should have special considerations of giving this medication, okay? Uh, the likelihood of causing or increasing renal failure or kidney damage is high with this medication, so be wary of giving it to a patient who might have renal disease or kidney failure. And don't forget that this medication can cause fatal GI adverse reactions. Now I'll tell you, this medication is a good tool to have, typically for your patients who have kidney stones and lower back pain, things of that sort. But understand, here in the pre-hospital setting, this ain't a medication that you're gonna give and after a couple minutes you could say, oh, how are you feeling any better? What's your pain scale now? Uh, things aren't gonna really change. Your patient's gonna be still complaining of pain um, and if you want an analgesic that works a little bit faster, now we're talking about morphine and fentanyl. All right, so don't expect quick results from this medication. So that pretty much sums up my use guide for Toradol. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, like I said, I'll be making a lot more of these videos about medications, treatments. Subscribe, like. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. All right, guys. Take it easy.